Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War. It is going to be a long war. At the, the end of episode 9, we discussed how long an XCOM playthrough generally takes. Uh, some people said about 20 hours. That might be true, depending on what version of XCOM you're playing. And I'm playing Long War, which means that we're definitely going to be a lot more time underway than just 20 hours for this particular playthrough. Now, thanks to a previous mission that went very well, I can now pick up some more Avenger intel. Plotting new course. And intel is just based about the lifeblood of all operations. So let's get this done. In the meanwhile, we have Flavia Orphan de Luce. Carry on uh, from... Sorry, she's done with basic training. And we have Jack Blazing Guns Gunsmoke. And I found it fitting to make him a technical. Now, do we have any new operatives that we can recruit? Yeah, just Aiden Hurst. I'm going to train Aiden because he already has a 71 base aim. I'm going to train him as a sniper. You need to train these guys early because they take quite a few promotions before they're actually going to come into their own. And with that, I need them to be trained up early in the campaign. And April is definitely early. All right, continue scanning. Caparo is ready to go. Uh, I'm going to give him a little bit more time. Strategic resource located. 53 intel. That's quite a nice reward. Now, I can reach out to New India. Or New Indonesia. That's going to cost me 160. No, never mind. Or New Arctic. New Arctic will put me in touch with the US. This will put me in touch with Africa. And Western Europe. Let's go for New India. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Establish and at this point, the guys contact. are going to start fighting. We are now at extremely light, 116% infiltrated, so let's go. Mr. Jaeger, thanks for becoming a patron supporter. Now, we are going to have quite a lot of loot to catch and we have a couple of pretty inexperienced operatives on this one so ideally get in with as much force as possible without breaking the objective pick up the stuff and get out I don't really need to be carrying out any corpses it'd be an added benefit but the loot's the most objective thing <laughs> the painting in the corner yeah it's nice all right. Smash and grab. How many do we have? One, two, I think a maximum of five, three, four, five. Wow, we get six even. And the extraction seems to be... Let's see, is that far? Uh, potentially. I think we're going to have a multi-story building there. Alright. Time for our field medic to get deployed. Sapster. Field medics, unfortunately, are not terribly useful in direct combat action. Because they, as a combat medic, don't do well in the actual shooting role. This over here, non-combatant, means they do one less damage with primary weapons. Now SMGs don't do a lot of damage to begin with, so I can expect this guy to be doing about one to three damage at the most. Or I can use the arc thrower, and that is something that I'm definitely going to be using this medic with. And we have a sniper over here, Stephanie. Let's put you on the roof. It looks like she might find something there. Oh, oh. Advent troops spotted. Oh, crap. We got detected here. This is going to be a problem. Because he is pretty close. I shouldn't have moved him up as far as I did without knowing exactly where the enemy was. Um, how am I going to fix this? I think Tony Blair is going to have to come in with the rocket launcher. And that's a really weird thing to say on the internet. But then again, the internet can be a really weird place. 
Got it. People give rocket launchers to former primer or primary prime ministers. Here we go. About here. With a spread of 3.84. Oh, this better work. Don't fuck it up. No, he had nothing. Oh shit. That doesn't quite describe it. I'm gonna need a flashbang. And I'm gonna need a smoke grenade. Heading out. Cobra. What can you offer me in the sense of hacking that guy? You can't. Okay. Cover going out. Right. So this should keep him safe. Which means it probably won't. Because this is XCOM and nothing ever goes according to plan. Um, unfortunately, there's no real other high cover that I can use at this point. We also have spec over here. See, the problem is, we're going to be looking at operatives too close together, vulnerable to grenade launcher fire. And it doesn't really matter where I put my forces. They're going to get fucked. Anyhow. So ideally, I'd spread them out as much as I reasonably can. And I guess that this field medic is going to have his hands full. Sooner rather than later. Sebastian. There's no high cover here. Everything's low cover. I don't want to be pushing this fight too much either, because if I do that, then there's a better than average chance that I'm going to regret it and find that the enemy might already be there. This is going to be tough. This is a really good chance to hit, but instead I'm going to suppress. I want this guy to be ineffective. Or at least as ineffective as I can get him. Uh-oh. Oh, he missed. This is the best possible outcome. He could have launched grenades. In fact, he probably should have launched grenades. And he does. Might be a flashbang this early on. Yep, flashbang. Okay, I can survive flashbangs. Now, what are you going to do? Nothing? Okay. To say that I got away with that kindly would be the understatement of the year. Um, do we have somebody who can run overwatches by any chance? Not really. No. Could we shut down the overwatch? Mm, tricky. It might work. But I think it will not. I just need one little bit of hit point damage on him. Uh, if I paint it, I think it's going to cost me... Yeah, end's turn. I don't want that. Light him up. He does have AP rounds, doesn't he? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try and take down this drone. Or, sorry, this mech. Hit him again. Good roll, I think. But I don't think. That was terrible. How good is your aim? 65. So basically, he's gonna hit. want either to shut down this robot, which I can't, so we're going to combat protocol it, and shut it down that way. Okay, that's one threat less to worry about. Next. A 43 is not great, but I'll try it. Oh, wow! Good roll. She gets it. Yeah, you got it. And now... 
I wonder if I get shot if I go here. I don't. Alright. Wow. Okay, this is more luck than anything else. Because I did not deserve to get away with that. I deserve to get properly punished for that and at least get an operative wounded, if not worse. <laughs> Just their aim is, well, lacking. I suppose would be the way to put it kindly. Disorientation removed. That's good news for me and bad news for you, because that means you're going to get shot. There you go. Well done. Play dead. RNG taketh, RNG giveth. Yep, at the moment it's, it seems to be in a giving mood. But I'm not sure how long is that going to last. Let's not tempt Copy fate too much. Regroup. Position bestätigt. Let's bring the squad back together. Reload that sniper. Ready to go. Cobra. Solid copy. Uh, you're going to be pistol overwatching. I'm on it. You're going to be overwatching and you're going to be overwatching. But that rocket though, holy crap, that was a really bad shot. Sebastian. Nothing. Now, how aggressively do I want to move Moving up? Well, the cover here is pretty bad. Affirmative. Tony. Nothing. Okay. I still have nine turns left. But I'm going to have to step on it. Otherwise I might not have enough in nine turns. That unfortunately means I'm going to have to move Stephanie to lower ground. Where, by definition, a sniper is not ideal. Okay. I'm trying to move up. And before the whole squad gets wiped. Yep, possibly. Missed. Two or three? Bloody hell. Three. An officer, a trooper, and what looks to be a drone. Yep, there he is. Auf die Seiten achten. Oh, nice. He immediately goes on Overwatch. Now, I can shut down the drone, either temporarily or permanently. So I'm going to hack it, because that gets me a little bit more Grab hacking skill on Cobra. All right, Adas, good night. See you soon, guy. Okay, let's hack this thing and shut it down. There we go. That's a really good roll. Nice. Shut down. Successful. Next. I'm in. That guy who went on Overwatch is in high cover, unfortunately for me. Can you do something about that? No, you can't. Oh, you really can't. The surveillance drone is shut down. I can fire at that. Let's go for the trooper. You hit a 30, no, a 43 before. Nope, not enough. How about... Yeah, that will shut down the drone. Which is kind of worth it. And I know it's taking one extra step. Shooting the drone, or shutting it down and then shooting it. But you get more accuracy and I get an additional couple of hack points. All right, I'm going to really need somebody who can run overwatches in this squad. So at the moment, I foresee that becoming up a 1% chance to hit. Good lord, that's bad. Sebster. Sebster has a lot of hit points. Don't tempt me into doing something stupid. Bring enough flashbangs with me on this mission. All right. Scanning a beat. We're just gonna wait. Uh oh. The enemy's here, and they come with three more. There's currently five operational enemy units. 
you're coming forward quite aggressively. What's your plan? Mark the target. I need to spread these guys out fast, by the way. Because if I don't, then there's a better than average chance that they're gonna go for... Uh-oh. Oh, armor took it. For a poison spit. They spit poison on him. And I just lose three guys, potentially to poison. So let's not have that happen. Combat protocol. I want this trooper to go off of Overwatch. I just should have moved Cobra first. Come to think of it. We're going to have to be quite aggressive on this. Because we need to get rid of that flanking maneuver that they have going. Let's go. Let's go. Copy target. I should kill the trooper. I know the officer is still out there, but I want the officer to go down as well. It's unfortunate for the loot, but I can live without it. Alternatively, I gotta try shooting it down. Let's see. Both of my stun guns are available. That's tempting. Sebastian. You might not want to fight. So let's take the fight out of them, too. There. Crowd control. Three active enemies. And that's when the video all of a sudden cut out. There was an issue with this stream, unfortunately, and there was no way to recover the video that I had. I can inform you that episode 10 ended pretty well. I only had one guy who was wounded, or maybe two. And the start of episode 11, I'll talk you through exactly what happened. Unfortunately, I just have no more footage from episode 10. So it's a brief one, but it's all I could still save from the file that I had. Sorry about that but episode 11, 12, etc. is going to be alright. So I'll see you there.